All right, let's learn how to work with numbers. In Python, we can use any of the arithmetic operators that you are used to. So plus, minus, division, multiplication, just like that. And then we have one which you might not be used to, but this is modular, right? So this is the modulus. So you can add numbers, you can subtract, you can divide numbers and multiply and use the mod or modulus function. And I'm going to show you this right now. So let's say that you want to add two numbers. So let's say that you have a variable and we're going to name this as addition equals two. And then you want to add 10 and then plus and then five, right? So we know that 10 plus five is 15. So here I can say print and then addition and I've got typo, so this should be uh, addition and in here addition as well. And then run the program. You can see that we have 15 right here. So I was actually right. <laughs> so we can also subtract numbers. So let's say subtract or subtraction equals to 10 minus and then five. Let's also do a multiplication example. So multiplication equals to 10 and then times and then five. So the times is just a symbol star, right? And then five and let's do a division as well. So division equals to 10 divided 10 and then divided, so this is a symbol, and then by five. Now, let me print these to the console. So it just had a space there, print, and then subtraction, multiplication, and finally print, and then division. So if I save this, run the program, you can see that we have 10 plus five is 15, 10 minus five is five, 10 times five is 50, and 10 divided by five is 2.0. So here we get a decimal number. And this is how you work with numbers and perform arithmetic operations on them. So one last one that I wanna show you is the modulus. So mod, I'm gonna call it mod, and in here equals to, and then let's say 10, and then mod, and then five. So this is a, an interesting one. So print, I'm gonna say print in here, and then we want to print mod. So if I save, run, you can see that we have zero. So let me explain this. So what this is saying is how many times five goes into 10, right? So five goes into 10 two times, and what is the remainder? So mod is simply the remainder, right? So five goes into 10 two times and the remainder is zero. Hence the result was zero. If we say, for example, three, right? So we have three here. So how many times three goes into 10? Well, the answer is three. And then we have one number left and that number is the remainder. So if I save this, run it, and you can see that we have one. Let me give you yet another example. So if we have four, for example, right? Four goes into 10 two times, and then we have two as the remainder, right? So four plus four is eight. And then if you add two, we get 10. So two is the remainder. And then you can see that we have two in here. So there you have it. This is how you work with numbers and perform arithmetic operation on them.